it's Damon from Pop Hunters Anonymous here, and um, this is the giveaway video. So I did not expect to get as many comments as I did so quickly. Um, I thought it was going to drag out a lot more than it actually did, but um, I'm super excited. You know, um, I'm glad I got the responses I got. You know, it was really cool to see that, um, and we bumped up almost 50 plus subscribers since then too. I'm already at I think 147 was the last I saw, which is it's incredible. It's super super humbling. It's awesome. And um, like I promised, I got a giveaway for you guys. Um, a lot of you guys in the comments seem to have wanted this one more so than the uh, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku. I did see one comment about um, Harley Quinn. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't find her, so I couldn't do that one. But I did manage to snag this up, and it wasn't that easy. I, it actually took me a bit to find it, but I did. Um, I got the uh, the Burning Walker from San Diego Comic-Con. Found it at a, a local GameStop. They only have one left in stock, and I managed to grab it. Luckily, the box condition and uh, the paint apps on the pop are really good. And this is just a gnarly-looking pop. If I collected Walking Dead, I definitely wouldn't want to have it. But, unfortunately, I don't collect Walking Dead. But I know a lot of you guys out there do. And this is probably one of the pop that you're looking for if you haven't found it yet. So, uh, yeah, giving this away to one of you guys. So, I wrote down all of your questions in my little uh, Jungle Book um, journal I have. See, um, I, I don't have a printer, so I couldn't print them out be a lot easier probably but I'm gonna open it up and read it like it's a book kind of thing because I um, got a lot of questions from you guys and I'm really excited so uh, first and foremost the first question is from uh, now apologies right now if I butcher some of your guys names I'm pretty good for the most part with names but these some of these names may be difficult for me but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try I'm gonna try my best so um oh before I even start that um, I just want to if you watch all my videos you may notice something really different about me right now. I did shave completely. Um, this is really off topic, but I, I think it's something you guys should know. It's, in, inter it's interesting as well. Um, so if you guys know, this is the weekend, as you guys, most of you guys probably do know, this is the weekend for Suicide Squad. Um, the movie is coming out, and um, I'm getting dressed for work. So I'm going to do the Joker. Um, I got a fresh haircut. I got the hairspray, green hairspray. I shaved completely, and I'm going to do the, the face paint. Um... I got a bunch of, you know, like tattoos, stuff like that to really represent that Joker. Um, yeah, man, I'm, I'm super excited. It's going to be cool. It's, I'm doing this tomorrow. And um, so if you, if you guys have me on Snapchat, I don't mention it in my videos, but I do put it in the, in the little about video section on uh, my Snapchat. I'll put it in this video as well so you can see. Follow me on Snapchat. You'll see all the great pictures of me with a couple different people at the job. And um, I also have Harley Quinn going there at work as well. So it'll be really cool. It's going to be really cool and awesome. Um, but yeah, that's just something I wanted to add in here as well. Um, sorry, so first question. It comes from Humberto Villafuerte. Um, I'm sorry, again, sorry if I butchered your name. But it is, what's your favorite pop character? Alright, so I'm not sure if this question is like, what's your favorite pop that I have? Or if it's my favorite character that I get pop for. I'm going to assume it's my favorite pop character as in a character that I always buy pops for. And that is, of course, Batman. I love Batman. Batman's one of my favorite superheroes since I was a kid, and um, pretty much every Batman that comes out, I have to get, no matter how bad it is, or how stupid it is, or if it's just a repaint, have to get it. That's always the case. Um, so yeah, that's that's definitely my favorite pop character. Uh, the next question comes from Chinese Five Spice, and uh, she says, "Congrats on scoring Raven. I still can't find her in Starfire. Also, either one, Goku or Firewalker, are great giveaway prizes." Well, I'm glad you thought so because I got the Firebird uh, Bernie Walker. <laughs> what is your most valuable pop, a.k.a. Grail, and do you have a pop that has some kind of a good story behind it? All right, so actually these two go hand in hand. My most valuable pop right now is Zernar Batman, um, the Target exclusive Zernar Batman that was extremely limited when released. Um, that is my Grail. I forgot what it's sitting at right now on Pop Price Guide, but it is my most expensive pop in terms of value i did pay regular price for it i i managed to find it in the store and that's where the story comes into play so um once i read about the store the pop and i saw some stores were getting it i checked my local stores on brick seeker sure enough they were popping up and um one store in particular didn't have it in their inventory yet and i was working that night as soon as i got off of work it was midnight and sure enough it said they had it in their inventory which means that they got it in after they closed doors already which would mean that if i got there at open doors i'd be one of the first people to have it so, sure enough, my crazy ass decided to stay up all night. I did, literally did not sleep at all. And um, I went to the store at Target as soon as they opened doors. It was me and Gerard. We both went. We both grabbed them. But um, on top of going there so early, when we got there, they didn't have them on the floor. They were still doing inventory. But sure enough, they put them in the system. 
So I asked people working around the area where the new pop shop was gonna be located, and uh, they had no idea where they were. They were looking in the back, they looked at least five to six times, and I, I gave them a lot of thanks for that. But um, the funniest part about that was it ended up just being in a box on the floor right next to the video games. It was hilarious, but um, they did have everything, including Boxer Joker, um, and I did grab one of those as well. But yeah, that, that's probably the, my favorite pop story as of now. It's pretty, pretty late. Um, I can't think of anything aside from New York Comic Con maybe that has other cool stories behind it. And all right, so next question comes from Caitlin Schuler, and that is a that is what is a pop you think is overrated and underrated? Um, all right, so overrated, I have to give it to the uh, Sonic the Hedgehog pops. I know a lot of people are going crazy for them. They really want them. I mean, they they've been vaulted, so it's harder to find them. And I don't know if that's part of the reason that everybody wants them, because maybe we'll never get another Sonic pop. But I think they're overrated just because the designs on them look pretty crappy for the most part. They look pretty bad. Um, I don't like the way they look. I'd get them if I could just because, like I said, I don't know if they're ever going to make Sonic Pops again. Um, but I don't think they're worth in terms of, now I, get, I guess in value it's worth that much. But in terms of, you know, is the pop actually worth that much? I don't think so. And what pop do I think is underrated now? Um, I might have to give that to, I'm only thinking recent really. It's a lot of, I think it boils down to a lot of the Suicide Squad pops. I know a lot of people don't really like them that much. I mean, I don't know if that just stems from them not liking the designs of the movie. But one of them that comes to mind is probably Diablo. I feel his pop is just so well detailed. I mean, it's a pretty basic mold for the, for, for the most part. But all the different tattoos and all the placement of the tattoos is just so perfectly detailed. And it looks awesome. I really, really like that pop. And I, I don't think it gets a lot of respect as it should just like his character in the movie probably as well which by the way let me say i really enjoy the movie i don't understand the hate that it's getting from critics at all i really enjoyed it thoroughly i mean i have a couple issues with it but nothing major to the point that it's dragging the score down that much um next question comes from x x chat x chat x chat i'm gonna say i don't know sorry again congrats on your 100 subscribers i really like your videos keep up the good work thank you so much for that um hearing stuff like that is just awesome by the way and um, also hope you can find those Suicide Squad Walmart exclusives. So do I. I yet to see anybody in New Jersey find them. They have hit the tri-state area. Pennsylvania had some, I noticed. So they're here. It's just the New Jersey stores have not put them up or the employees picked them all up already or they just haven't arrived in Jersey for whatever reason. Um, I really hope I can find them eventually or at least buy them at a decent price because still the prices they're going for are kind of ridiculous. And um, anyways, so the question is, what is your favorite Funko Pop line? Um, I think, now again, this is pretty recent for the most part. I might have to give it to Suicide Squad. And that's partially probably because I really like the way the characters are designed in the movie. So I think that's going to really transcend into the pop. It transcended into the pop really, really well in all the pops. And I, I like the way all of them look. Um, I, damn, I, I don't really know any older ones that I might come to mind at the top of my head. Yeah, no, I, I really, I'd have to look through my collection. I have a lot of pops, so. If anything, I'll, I'll come back in a comment and I'll tell you if, if that changes. But as of right now, I'm gonna say Suicide Squad. And next question is from Funko Devil 666 Awesome name, <laughs> hilarious name. In your collection, which pop is your holy grail pop? Okay, um, I'm gonna go, assume you mean based on value. And if you mean on value, it's gonna be Zarnar Batman. Um, but if it is just, no, yeah, that's definitely, I get what's saying, it's a great album. Yeah, Zernar Batman still, definitely. Um, after that, we have Amanda, Amanda Arndt, I'm going to say. Um, God, I'm really sorry if I'm messing your names up. If you can ask Funko to make a pop that is not out yet, what will you tell them to make? Uh, I'm going to have to go with Sora from Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, definitely, Sora from Kingdom Hearts. Um, I'm a big video game fan. I may not know that from the videos, but I love video games. I'm a big PlayStation gamer as well. And um, yeah, Sora is just, he's an all, I love Kingdom Hearts so much. That's one of my favorite game series of all times. And I would love to just have a Kingdom Hearts line, but if I can only get one character, it's definitely gotta be Sora, definitely. All right, next question comes from Kerry Coker. I am a subscriber and obsessed Walking Dead fan. These are the, those are the pops I collect. Is Daryl Dixon with his motorcycle pop still available in stores? Keep up the good work and please show more Walking Dead. Um, well, I'm glad you're a Walking Dead fan and you know, we have the Bernie Walker to give away. So let's see if you, I, I haven't chosen a winner yet. I'm gonna use like a, a random choice generator to pick the winner. So um, I'll do that after the video. Well, 
I'll, I'm not gonna re-record it because I have to use my phone for it, but um, I'll record again after I get the winner and I'll put it in video form. But um, anyways, to your question, is Daryl Dixon with the motorcycle pop still available in stores? I have seen it in stores actually. Um, it's not as common as it probably once was. I've seen it in a couple FYEs and I've seen it at the Couch Potato over in the Palisades Mall as well. I've seen it there. Um, yeah, so it's definitely still available in stores. You can probably still find it. It's not um, high up there in price either on a pop price guide, I don't think so. Even online, you probably get it at a good cheap price. Um, as for showing more Walking Dead, uh, let me just clarify something now. I love The Walking Dead. I love the show. I love the games. I even read the comics for a while. Um, got pretty far on that. But the issue is The Walking Dead pops, there's just so many of them that for me to start collecting them, I'd have to go all the way back. And it's just, it's it's too much. I just couldn't do that right now with all the the pops I'm collecting now as it is. I mean, I just started Star Wars and that's that's pretty much similar to Walking Dead where there's so many old pops that I may not get or I may just get one and select a few of my favorite characters. Walking Dead, I'd still have to get, I'd still want to get at least some sets complete. And I just, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I would love to, but there's just no way. Um, next question comes from Mariano Gonzalez. What's your dream Funko Pop line you wish they would make? I think I have, I might have to get go with three if I can give three because there's three in mind that come to mind right away and that's um Kingdom Hearts I would love a Kingdom Hearts line with just all the, the main characters from Kingdom Hearts not the Disney characters and those costumes I mean it'd be cool but um at least at least just give me Sora Kyrie, Kyrie Riku Organization Thirteen stuff like that would just be awesome um and then next up would probably be, be Persona or at least Persona Four my favorite one of the, the series it's a RPG JRPG series from uh, Atlas. And um, it's one of my favorite video games of all time. I played Persona 4, I played Persona 3. Persona 4 just has an awesome array of characters and I would think they would make awesome pop designs. I'm actually in the talks right now to get some customs made for those because I don't think they're ever gonna come out. So I at least get some customs of them, but I think that's definitely one, that, those, that's another one that comes to mind. And um, lastly, it's kind of, I know, I know Pop does video game pops, Funko does video game pops, but um, it's not as much as I'd want. It's mainly more the mainstream titles kind of thing. And I just feel like being a PlayStation gamer, that PlayStation has such a big array of characters that I would just love more pops from then. I'm glad we got Kratos, I'm glad we got Nathan Drake, but I would really love like a Last of Us line or a uh, Ratchet and Clank line or a Sly Cooper line, something along those lines. I think it'd be really cool to get something like that as well. Um, don't know if it's ever gonna happen. It's not out of the realm of possibility because we have gotten PlayStation characters that popped before, even Sackboy we have. So um, I do think it's something that could eventually happen. I know I read somewhere that there were some rumors going around that PlayStation was in the works with Funko to do stuff like that, but nothing came out of it yet, at least um, aside from the Uncharted pop. Anyways, next question comes from Popcom. What's your favorite place to shop for pops? Only one place. That's a tough one. Um, I would normally probably say Hot Topic, just because their buy one, get one 30% sale is awesome for the most part and it's all the time. Um, but as of late, I might have to give it to Couch Potato. Definitely Couch Potato. They have the buy three or more, get 30% off each one all the time. Each pop comes out to about eight seventy five dollars afterwards. And um, it's just a great place to go and buy full sets, which is something I'm starting to do now because I feel like that's just a better way to shop. It's a smarter way to shop, in my opinion. Um, so, like, I'll usually, if I'm buying a whole set, I'll go there right away, pick them up, and use that, take advantage of that deal. Um, and that's definitely one of my favorite places to shop right now. Um, I haven't gone there recently because I'm, I'm with San Diego Comic Con Pops and everything like that. It's been tough. But um, with the Harry Potter wave after complete, the new Star Wars wave after complete, and a couple others, definitely gonna end up making my way over there too, and I'll, I'll probably record it as well. And the next question comes from Shy Nova. Um, Doctor Who Pops, do you have any? I do not have any Doctor Who Pops. I have never watched Doctor Who in my life. Um, it's just not a show that really catches my interest all that much. I like sci-fi and I like stuff like that, but it's just, I don't know, never caught my eye. I've, I've heard a lot of people talk about it. A lot of my coworkers don't seem to enjoy it that much, um, but a lot of my friends do. So maybe I'll give it a shot in the future, and um, if I like it, I'll collect the pops, but that's another one where like, I'm pretty sure it's pretty far down the line already, and to catch up would be just insane. And the next question comes from Anna Torres. What is your favorite pop that you currently own? Um, all right, so I, see, I feel like my favorite pop kind of always updates as I get new pops, because the newer molds just become more and more awesome as they release. But right now, I probably have to give it to the Boxer Joker. I think I mentioned this in my two-pack review. I just feel like that is the perfect Joker mold. For perfect Joker representation, at least for the Suicide Squad. Now, I know it's not the classic Joker, but it is that modern Joker look. And I feel like they just nailed everything with the purple coat. Um, 
and that whole boxer pants and the, even the little detail like the Batman leggings. It, just, it, it looked awesome. I really, really like that pop a lot. That's probably my favorite pop in my collection right now. Again, this updates like all the time and I could argue that even the Powerpuff Girls are my, my top pops right now too. Um, I don't think anything from the San Diego Comic-Con exclusives this year really would move up to my favorite. With Doomsday probably being up there just because of how detailed he is. Same thing with Gorilla Grodd, but I think still Joker Boxer. I just, every time I, I look at my collection, I'm like, I look at that one. I'm like, I really like that one a lot. All right, next. Ooh, this one's a long one. Next question is from Dorkside Eric. What's your favorite pop in your collection? Like I just mentioned, uh, Boxer Joker. What's the pop you don't have that you want the most? I just started collecting a week ago and went nuts the last few days and bought 35. As I said, I'm new to collecting, so I didn't know about all these Summer Con exclusives until your haul video. Went to GameStop and picked up 10 exclusives. So thanks for putting that info out there and keep up the good work. Thank you for um, the nice comments and thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing and I'm glad I can help you. Um, it's really cool seeing people who are just starting to collect and they're, they're telling like their stories of how they went went about starting, you know, what they got first and what, they, what they're what they currently collecting and things like that. But um, to answer your question, why well, I answered my favorite pop is uh, Boxer Joker. My pop that I don't have that I want the most right now is probably Dr. Harleen and... Um, and a Joker in his suit, his uh, silver suit. And the real reason for that is just because I really want to complete the Suicide Squad set already. These are only two I'm missing, and they're normally not that hard to find, Walmart exclusives, but I have yet to have any luck in finding them. So that's probably the real reason why I really want them. I also really want Beerus from Dragon Ball Z Resurrection F. Um, and I don't know if we're ever going to get a regular version. I don't care if I don't get a metallic version. As long as I get a regular one in my collection, I'll be satisfied. But I don't know that that's going to happen, so I hope they do. Next question comes from Luna Malfoy4. First off, awesome name. Clearly, you're a Harry Potter fan, and I appreciate that right off the bat. I love Harry Potter. I may have missed this in a previous video, but what was the first pop you bought that started it all? All right, so you didn't miss it. I never put it in a video. I started hunt I started doing these videos a lot later in the game once I was already in, like, the 300 range of pop. So never recorded what the first pop I bought was. And I don't remember what the first pop I bought was, but I'm pretty sure... It was the Arkham Asylum Batman, and it might have been the Hot Topic exclusive, the blue suit, not the detective suit, but the blue suit. I pretty convinced that that was it because I remember shortly after realizing it's not the regular one, and I had to go get the regular one too. So I'm going to say that. I could be wrong, but that's definitely, even if I'm wrong, that's definitely one of the earlier pops, probably from the same first day that I started buying pops. Next question is from Gian Quinones. What got you into collecting pops, and what are your Dream Funko lines? Well, my Dream Funko lines, like I said, are Kingdom Hearts. Persona and um, some PlayStation games. PlayStation, PlayStation line, I guess you could say. Um, but what got me into collecting pops? So, funny story about that. I started collecting pops. Well, first and foremost, I never, I didn't like pops in the beginning. I thought they were oh, kind of ugly and I thought they, they, they were something I never would want to collect. And um, it was until Gerard. Gerard picked up a couple Attack on Titan ones and that's what started him. And um, I just wanted to collect Batman stuff because I just love Batman so much. So I went and got a couple different Batman action figures that are like the 75th anniversary set. And um, I had a bunch of Batman statues from the video games as well. And so I said, you know what? I'll grab Batman Pops. Only Batman, only the character Batman, not even Batman villains. And then that branched out to Batman and Joker because I like the Joker as a villain a lot. Then it branched out to Brett, Batman, Joker, Harley Quinn because I really like Harley Quinn. Then, and I'll never forget this day, I stopped in a Barnes & Noble and... Gerard looks at me and I'm like looking for different Batman pops to grab and I pick up Killer Croc and I pick up Poison Ivy I'm just like, you know, nah, I couldn't do it. I put them back and Gerard's like, no, 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 you should do it. You should just get like all the Batman villains too and all big Batman characters. So at that point is when I was like, all right, fine, I'll do that. And then I got into the collecting Marvel Cinematic Universe pops after Avenger Avengers Age of Ultron came out. So I went back and I got old ones of those as well. And ever since then, my collection just keeps growing with new movies that I love, new shows that I love, new games that I love and things like that. So, yeah, it, it was a really cool venture in starting to collect pops. I started slow, and I, I picked up drastically. Um, next question comes from Raul's Life. How many pops do you plan to collect? I myself want to own 1,000 pops. I'm just 900 pops away from the goal. Congratulations on 100. Thank you for the congratulations. Um, how many do I plan to collect? Well, first off, 1,000 is a good goal. Um, and 900 pops, that's, that's still pretty far away, and I'm pretty far away from hitting 1,000, too. I don't think I have a goal on how many I want to collect. Because I, I don't see myself with, I don't see a goal in mind. It's just I keep collecting as the series that I like come out. Um, I feel like a thousand's a good milestone, and if I ever hit a thousand, that'd be awesome to say. But um, yeah, I don't have a goal set in mind. I just collect until there's nothing I want to collect coming out, which I don't know if that's ever going to happen, quite frankly. 
<laughs> Next question comes from JRV Comics. What is your favorite pop in your collection right now? That is Boxer Joker. And congrats on reaching 100 plus subscribers. Thank you very much for that. Next one is hashtag Funko Shenanigans. Funny name, really funny name. Cool Hall Man. This is, of course, in regards to the haul video I did where I announced the giveaway information. Sweet pickups. My question is, how do you get money for pops? Sweet vid and keep it up. All right, so the short answer for that is I got a job. I have a job and I work. <laughs> but to be a little bit more detailed in my answer, I, I actually work at a movie theater. I'm a supervisor, which is basically an assistant manager at a movie theater. And um, yeah, I you tend to just budget myself out with my paychecks and um, I'll figure out how much I'm going to spend on pops. And then, of course, take into consideration different bills that I have to pay and all things of that nature as well. Um, so yeah, that's how I get my money for pops. Um, job at a movie theater. Next up from Ger Gershon Nosreg. Nosreg, I'm, I'm really sorry. Why did you start collecting pops? All right, so this kind of goes back to the story of how I started. It's just because I really like Batman um, and I felt like I should just own these because I like Batman and I want to have everything Batman related to my collection. Then after a while, I started seeing some of the newer molds and I was like, these look awesome. The big one that kind of got me was the Hulkbuster and Iron Man Mark 43, I think was Age of Ultron one. Once I saw those molds, I was like, all right, I think I can dig these some of the way these, I can dig some of the ones, the way some of these look. And um, after that, I started seeing it. And then of course, each different release kind of brings forward a new, a big step up for Funko. So it's like, they've only gotten better and better. And now I'm happy that I'm actually collecting these things. Next question is Mr. Blobby Jackie. What other items do you collect besides pops? Now, if you would have asked me this um, a few months ago, <laughs> there would have been a lot of answers. I used to collect Amiibos. I used to collect Disney Infinity figures until that went out of business and Amiibos I just lost interest in. Um, but as of right now, I only collect Funko Pops, really. And on the occasion, I'll buy a uh, video game collector's edition just that has like a statue and stuff like that. I really like statues, um, but I tend to only get the ones that come in the video game collector's editions and potentially Batman ones. Depends on how they look or what they are. But that's really it. It's mainly Funko Pops for the most part. The occasional Dorb that like really, really looks awesome and it's a very rare occurrence. I only really have like four or five Dorbs in my collection. Next one is Donatello Leonardi. That's an awesome name. It's hilarious. And this question is, if you could make one line of Funko Pops that aren't currently out, what line would you make? That would be... All right, so if I can only make one out of the three that I mentioned, Persona, Kingdom Hearts, and... What was it? PlayStation characters. I'd probably give it to Persona because I like the designs of those characters a lot. Kingdom Hearts is a very, very, very close second, but it definitely has to go to Persona. Next one is from Angel Hernandez. Do you have any advice for a newest collector? Yes, I can definitely give advice on that. Um, shop smart. Definitely look for sales. Um, Hot Topic has great ones. If you have a couch potato near you, see if they have the sale I just mentioned earlier. Um, and buy in bulk if you're buying. If you're buying a certain set only, buy in bulk. Get them all out the way, so you never have to worry about spending too much money. I don't know. I, I, that's just the way I see it. I feel like buying in bulk is the best way to do it. Um, and stay strict. I, that's an issue I have. I never really tend to stay strict. If you have only one thing you want to collect and like one line you want to collect, stick to that line unless there's something that you really, really, really love as well that you can actually afford to go into the next line as well. But um, yeah, definitely shop smart, stay strict. Two of the best advice I can give to a new collector. Next question is from David Richard. He says, when searching for pops, do you pay attention to the box condition and the paint job on the pop? And if it's a rare pop, does the condition go out the window and you just get the pop anyway? All right, so when I'm searching for pops, I definitely do pay attention to box condition and paint apps. Um, they're really important, I for me anyway. I'm not a mint in-box collector, but I am an in-box collector. I'll open them and I'll take them out of the box just to see what they look like. And maybe even display a select few. But um, I still want the box to be in really good condition, and I still want the pop to just look good. I don't want any messy paint jobs on them. Now, if it is a rare pop and I just stumble upon it, I usually are is a lot. I am a lot more lenient with it. Um, but if the box is like destroyed, I'm still not gonna pick it up. It's only if like there's a little small crease at the top or like a little tear on one corner or something like that. And if the paint's messy, unless it's something like a giant smudge of paint on his face or on on his body, whatever it is, I'm pretty lenient with that. And next one comes from next question comes from Dylan Fam. What's a pop that you've regretted not getting? All right, so as you know, like I mentioned a few times in this video alone, I am a huge Batman fan. I have majority of the Batman pops available aside from the crazy high expensive grails. Now, most of the grails I don't care for, like the yellow sign error, um, 
stuff like that. I do want to chase Batman, and those are pretty cheap, so I might get one. Um, but one that really sticks out to me is the Flashpoint Batman. Now, I wasn't collecting pops at the time, but that was a New York Comic Con exclusive in, I believe, 2011, a year that I was there. So I could have gotten it if I was into collecting pops. So not only do I regret not buying it, but I also regret not even knowing about it at the time. Because like now it's in the thousands range and it's one that I'll probably never get a chance to grab. So it, it, every time I see it on eBay or on anywhere, it just hurts even more knowing that I'll never have that pop. Hopefully eventually if I like win the lottery or something along those lines, I'll grab one. But until then, I'm, I'm pretty SOL with that. All right, next question comes from GamerPie2099. Do you have a pop figure that might be a common one? It may not be worth much, but it has a lot of sentimental value to you. I don't think I have any pops that hold the sentimental value to me right now because most of them are just, you know, go out, buy it, go out, buy it. It's nothing really special to them. But if I had to pick one, I'd probably pick the uh, Arkham Asylum Batman just because that was what started the collection. And it, it, either that or Iron Man Mark 43, just because, again, that's kind of what helped me branch my collection out even more. Um, but that's really it. Nothing too high sentimental value, at least. I think I'm coming to the end. Yep, this is the last question, and that is, Corey K., what's your least favorite pop? I'm going to go with my least favorite pop that I own right now, and that's probably has to go to Underwater Batman, just because, and I love Batman, but I just feel like the design on it is super, super lazy. It is literally just the Batman in the underwater suit. It's a Batman from Batman v Superman line in an under, with an underwater mask on. Not much at all. They just molded a mask onto that pop, and it's just super lazy. Um, even worse, more, even worse, having seen the movie, not really a spoiler, but slight spoiler warning if you guys don't want to know anything about the movie. But in that scene, um, it was it was like a few seconds. Didn't even really need to happen. Like you didn't need to have a pop for it. It's clearly just them just trying to milk the money out of Batman. Um, yeah, I just it wasn't necessary at all. I really think they could have used that spot for something else along the lines like, uh, well, I'm not going to get into spoilers here, but just there's a lot of other pops they could have made instead of Underwater Batman. But um, anyways, yeah, that's all the questions I have. Um, shout out to all of you guys for commenting and asking questions. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so, so much for, for taking a, being a part of this, for being a part of this, this starting, you know, starting point. And my next goal would probably have to be 300, 500 subscribers, and I'll probably do another giveaway around that time as well. But um, before I leave you guys with the closer and everything like that, I'm going to do the, I'm going to, there's going to be some choppy editing. I'm going to um, go ahead and do the random choice generator thing and figure out who won. Shout them out in the video, of course. Come back and have a couple different things I want to talk to you guys about. All right, guys. So I went and did the random choice generator and the winner of the pop giveaway is Kerry Coker. All right. So you will be getting the uh, San Diego Comic-Con Burning Walker exclusive from The Walking Dead. Um, I will shoot you a PM on YouTube and get a response. We can get a contact so that way I can mail you your pop. Um, thank you guys again so much for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing again. It's truly humbling and I really appreciate each and every one of you. I look forward to doing more of these videos in the future as the subscriber count does go up. So that way I can, you know, communicate with even more of you guys. And one thing I do want to mention is I'm very active on Snapchat and I'm very active on Twitter. So I'll put both of them in the video as well so that way you can, you know, follow me on there. And we can interact more on there as well. Um, but I do put them in the about video, in this the little description of the video as well. So you can see it there if you don't um, here. But yeah, definitely thank you guys so much again. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And uh, be on the lookout because I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be doing some more hunting soon. I'm waiting for these Walmart exclusives to drop. Really, really need these things already. <laughs> but anyways, again, I'll see you guys.